I went to plant grass and I got weeds. So we got these leafy little sons of bitches. Then we got these scrawny little guys. Then we got these guys that like to stick up in the air. And then over here, we've got these things that look like a fucking pot plant. And then over here, look at this one. It's got a pretty little flower. Oh my God, and look at all these long legs on this guy. And what about this guy here? Oh, is that so pretty? It's got a pink little flower on it. How about this guy here? He's so awesome. He's got a little fluffy little touch. This guy actually looks like he belongs in a garden. He's so big. Oh, and look at this wonderful guy here. He looks like he could just actually become my lawn. It's just nice and thick and doesn't let anything else breathe. It's awesome. <laughs> Okay, enough of that crying. We don't do any crying here at Changing Latitudes. So, I'm done with it. I'm gonna go ahead and put in some of this high yield 24D uh, into my sprayer, along with some tenacity. I understand there's some overlap, but they kill different weeds, and frankly, I don't have enough lifetime to go figure out all those weeds out there. And then, this, well, I'm actually holding this to back end. So I'm gonna put some of that on there to make sure that I get those guys, uh, all the stuff to stick to it. And then I've got Tenacity here. And again, these are recommendations from the YouTube community. I'd like to think that all I'm trying to do here is try to kill some weeds, but I'm not. I'm trying to hold on to some of the lawn I've already established. It's very tough to establish a lawn in North Idaho. You only have so many months of growing. Frankly, it's more in the fall than any other season. And we keep trying to bump our head against that springtime. We've done some dry seeding, which is what you know what you do right after some freezes in the winter, uh, in the later part of the fall, and that's been somewhat successful. I can't say it hasn't been. In fact, I would say about 50% of our total growth on the property, as far as lawn goes, has been done by dry seeding. Some of that's just a factor of me getting out there and what timing and what have you. So, with that. I am gonna go ahead and fill up this guy with some water, pour in the right amounts of this stuff, turn it on, ride with my lawnmower, and go kill some weeds. I'm done with these things. Now it's very interesting, it says on the bottle that if, uh, on the high yield there are 24D, that if you are going to do an acre of land, you need a gallon of the 24D. But when you do the calculations by thousands per square feet, I kind of come up with a different number. So I really don't need an acre of land cover because that's not what we're doing today, far less than that probably about at best a third of an acre so then I think logically that you use a third of the bottle now that means that if the bottle says one gallon per 15 that I can only fill this guy up for about five gallons which won't get me far so I'm kind of getting anxious about the idea and saying to myself well put the whole bottle in for the 15 gallons put the tenacity in for the 15 gallons and go spray it should work. So I'm going to go ahead and dump the bottle in and uh, hopefully I get the right results and don't burn the hell out of my lawn. Um, and uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. I did spray earlier in the season. Right now we're a bit out of the pocket, but I can't stand looking at them anymore. So I did spray them once in the beginning of the season and we did have some good success. I wouldn't say complete or else I wouldn't be doing this now. So I'm going to go ahead and um, you know get get as much of an effort in behind this. I have used the dye before where you spray down and it's really slick. You know you spray with some dye and you know exactly where you've been. The challenging part of that is if you have any form of of uh, hardscape. You know I'm sure it'll wash out over time, but it's just the sheer thought of seeing blue all over some brand new pavers or some cement that I would like to keep on to just just irritates me so 
Unfortunately, the downside of that is, is you better be uh, pretty sharp on where you've been. So I'll fill this thing up about seven gallons, and then I'll go ahead and dump in the product, and then we'll uh, we'll put in another seven, eight gallons, and then we'll be all ready to go. So the cool thing about Tenacity, because I have used the product before, is that you can use this little guy here, the syringe, and pull out exactly what you need. Now, like I said, I'm going to put 15 gallons in, so I'm going to have to use the syringe a couple times to get there. Go ahead and just kind of maybe put you off the side right here. Okay, with that, maybe give it a little bit of a mix. Shake it. Okay. With that, I am going to plunge in. Now this guy here, pretty slack, hopefully it comes up on the camera here, it says here one teaspoon equals two gallons. So if I've got 15 gallons planned, I'm going to put about two and a half teaspoons into, sorry, yeah, two and a half per five, which means seven and a half. Okay, oh, got to do it three times. Okay, yeah, this is factored. Now this guy is one pint, so it's eight ounces. I just put in that, so I think I'm gonna try my best to just get close to the same value that I just put in. Dump that guy in. I think we're about. Yeah, so we're getting close there. He's got to be good enough. Okay, here goes the nothing. The two four D. This seems really odd. Unfortunately, I'm just going to be the first timer on this, and I'm just going to have to do as they directed to do. And it may well be that I'm just not driving fast enough. But I'm going to pour this whole gallon of 240 in. Okay, put this away, put that away, let me clean this up, and I'll 
I'll be right back with you. What about 12 gallons? You can really smell this stuff. I'm sure there's a certain bit of PPE that you're supposed to be wearing, keeping from your face and all that. If I did it for a lifetime, I think I would be more involved with that question, but for the most part, I don't do this but once or twice a year. Now, I don't know if that's evidently smart, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, tell you that's what I'm doing. Okay, so one of the challenges is I had to replace this battery on this guy and uh, trying to get this uh, all hooked up to the battery is a bit of a pain. Unfortunately, the new battery, the connections are plugged in differently. So you gotta kind of reach in there. Okay, we're all closed up here and hooked up. So neat, really cool. This uh, North Star has the capability of being turned in on and off with this little switch, which makes it great because obviously as you're going along spraying, you want to turn it off and as you go around the turns and things of that nature so you don't double spray. So with that, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get out there and start going and killing weeds. Okay, well, we'll see how we go in a couple weeks here. Um, you know, what I noticed on the last time I used Tenacity is that, you know, it whitens uh, the plant and it seems kind of odd, right? So it just turns white and then eventually it gets a little listless. 
but it does turn black eventually and it just literally disappears um, so it works it's just you got to have patience unlike roundup where you can spray it and you see immediate results and have the you know the wilting occur within days but the roots not dead so it still has to work its way through on this other products you got to spray it and then you just got to be patient and trust that it's coming together and then if it does in a couple weeks you come back out and treat again unfortunately my problem is massive I've got probably a good acre of land here that just is weed infested. The rest of the property is too, but that rest I'm not as wrapped up in it. And as long as it has weeds in the rest of the property, I will always fight this battle, of course. But the goal is, is I got a ton of dirt and I've imported a ton of dirt and that dirt's always got some sort of weed seed in it. In fact, we're seeing weeds that have come in with that dirt that we have never seen before come from somewhere else. We don't know where it is. At the end of the day, we're gonna have to kill them and get our lawn healthy so that it has sucks out that if you will the nitrogen the air the water everything that goes along with growing a plant so the, the grass turns into a killer if you will and uh, doesn't allow these other bad elements to join us so with that i'm going to wrap up this episode a little bit different from my prior ones of building things i figured i'd just show you something that i have to do on the property uh, twice a year to try to regulate the weeds. Uh, hopefully as time goes on, we'll get better. See you next time.